The window for world leaders to take critical action on climate change is rapidly closing. COP26 was considered by many to be the final opportunity to act in order to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees. Although we had hoped to see more ambitious commitments, COP26 played a significant role in transitioning our world to a net-zero future. In partnership with the Scottish Government, we launched the Climate Action Innovation Zone to facilitate the critical public and private sector partnerships necessary to achieve the objectives of the Paris Agreement. The Climate Action Innovation Zone hosted three mission-led events, the Sustainable Innovation Forum, the Hydrogen Transition Summit and the Agri-Food Transition Summit, where we engaged a global audience of 25,000 online delegates and 1,400 high-level attendees in person in Glasgow. The pandemic shows us all the importance of equity in tackling global crises. And in that spirit, this summit provides us a great opportunity to put justice and equity at the center of our response. If the six years since Paris have taught us anything, it is that speeches won't save us no real words on paper. You know, the good news is that it's a different kind of cop that we're at now. Here's a list of things that we've seen in Glasgow that are reflecting that level of commitment on implementing the Paris Agreement and implementing the solution for this crisis in this decade not for 2050, today. The only way we're going to achieve a sustainable climate change conversation is through climate justice. Humanity is incredibly resourceful. We can fix this, we can do this. And actually, if you look at the timeframes that we addressed the global pandemic in, and actually 10 years is quite a long time. We knew that this COP would be measured on the basis of its tangible actions that emerge from it. And we started knowing what the objectives were, keep 1.5 in, in sight, and the fact that 85% of the finance required to deliver that needs to come from the private sector. We want to be the leader in producing blue hydrogen and green hydrogen. We have committed already $15 billion to projects to produce these two new kinds of hydrogen. I think there's been such a lot of energy at this forum and I've seen a real call to action. People here don't want to just talk about issues, you know, they really want to solve problems. Basically, Sustainable Innovation Forum is the best place to find the right contacts in terms of companies, so agreements, because every year new companies coming, new startups. We created a space at COP26 for the public and private sectors to meet, collaborate and turn ambition into action. The Sustainable Innovation Forum has been convened alongside every COP for the last 12 years. The successful launch of the Climate Action Innovation Zone at COP26 demonstrates our vision and commitment to placing innovation finance and nature-based solutions at the heart of COP. The purpose-built hybrid event space was powered by sustainable biofuels with no single-use plastic, zero landfill waste and plant-based food. The legacy COP26 Forest of Hope will see the regeneration of existing woodland and the planting of 250,000 mixed species trees on the Beldornia estate. COP26 highlighted that the private sector plays a critical role in keeping 1.5 degrees alive. Access 60 hours of on-demand sessions from the Climate Action Innovation Zone, free of charge, at www.cop26.uk. Thank you to all our partners who supported our COP26 vision. Your help made the Climate Action Innovation Zone a reality.